uh, how much time do you spend crafting? You've got, you're on a weekly deadline. That's, right. kinda, that's a lot of work. I spend a lot of time crafting them, um, some more than others. Right. Um, this, some of them, they flow from you know actual resentment. <laughs> it just sort of comes out. Um, and I spend about you know two days mm -hmm. on a column. Mm -hmm. um, used to be longer, but and now I have to cram it in because I do all kinds of different kinds of writing, and I'm a mom, and I work at home. But um, but I if I don't get two solid days on a column, mm -hmm. I feel um, not as not as good about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it hasn't really gotten. Every word hasn't gotten the right spin, and mm -hmm. the rhythm is something I pay very close attention Absolutely. to. Um, I love to read writing with rhythm, and I um, so I, I try to write that way too. And if some if a sentence just isn't rhythmic, doesn't feel like a melody, doesn't feel like you're in a groove when you're reading it, I'll go back and, and mm -hmm. change it so that a word has two syllables instead mm -hmm. of three. I mean, it does get down to that like kind of poet, detail yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I can. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like to have that kind of time to do that. That's when I'm proudest right. of it. Well, I, that gives me the opportunity to say that you teach at City College for the journalism in our creative writing program at a cross-listed class, English 271 <laughs> now, just in case people um, would ever want to uh, go for that. And that. You just gave some great advice for writers. Um, other things that you would tell people whether or not they're in your class as writers? For column writing yeah. specifically? Um, you know, one of the things that I, that I try to make sure my students understand is it's important that, that a topic is, is just as important as the writing itself. Um, spending time figuring out what to write about is half the battle. Okay. Um, you can't make an interesting story out of a non-interesting topic, no matter how colorful your writing is. So um, that's, that's something you need, you need to really work on. And don't ever um, choose a column topic just because everyone else is writing about it. I feel like a lot of times, and I fall into this trap too, if a lot of people are talking about something um, this week, you know, whether it's Sarah Palin or whatever, mm -hmm. um, we all feel the need to jump on board. Mm -hmm. um, inauguration, you know, whatever's right. going on, um, this woman who just had eight babies, right. you know, everyone's got to like put everyone's their two cents in. That, yeah. And um, if you have an opinion on it, super, go for it, especially if it's a fresh opinion. But don't ever write about something just because it's what people are mm -hmm. talking about if you don't have something new to add to the mix. Mm -hmm. um, those columns fall short and they disappoint because you end up reading it and thinking, I, I already read that somewhere else before and chances are it was better. Right.